Our scripture today comes from 1 Kings chapter 19, the story of Elijah in the wilderness again. Now Ahab told Jezebel everything Elijah had done and how he had killed all the prophets with the sword. So Jezebel sent a messenger to Elijah to say, May the gods deal with me, be it ever so severely, if by this time tomorrow I do not make your life like one of theirs. So Elijah was afraid, and he ran for his life. And when he came to Beersheba in Judah, he left his servant there, and while he himself went a day's journey into the wilderness. He came to a broom bush and sat under it and prayed that he might die. I have had enough, Lord, he said. Take my life. I'm no better than my ancestors. And then he lay down under the bush and he fell asleep. All at once an angel touched him and said, get up and eat. He looked around and there by his head was some bread baked over hot coals and a jar of water. He ate and drank and then lay down again. The angel of the Lord came back a second time and touched him and said, Get up and eat, for the journey is too much for you. So he got up and ate and drank. Strengthened by the food, he traveled 40 days and 40 nights until he reached Horeb, the mountain of God. Then he went into a cave and he spent the night. And the word of the Lord came to him. What are you doing, Elijah? He replied, I have been very zealous for the Lord God Almighty. The Israelites have rejected your covenant. They have torn down your altars. They put up your prophets to death with the sword. I am the only one left, and now they're trying to kill me too. The Lord said, go out and stand on the mountain in the presence of the Lord. for The Lord is about to pass by. Then a great and powerful wind tore the mountains apart and shattered the rocks before the Lord, but the Lord was not in the wind. After the wind, there was an earthquake, but the Lord was not in the earthquake. And after the earthquake came a fire, but the Lord was not in the fire. After the fire came a gentle whisper. When Elijah heard it, he pulled his cloak over his face and he went out and stood at the mouth of the cave. And a voice said to him, what are you doing here, Elijah? And he replied, I have been very zealous for the Lord God Almighty. The Israelites have rejected your covenant. They've torn down your altars. They put your prophets to death by the sword. I am the only one left and they are trying to kill me too. And the Lord said to him, go back the way you came and go to the desert of Damascus. And when you get there, anoint Hazael king over Aram. Also anoint Jehu, son of Nimshi, king over Israel, and anoint Elisha, the son of Shaphat from Abel, Mahola, to succeed you as prophet. Jehu will put to death any who escape the sword of Hazael, and Elisha will put to death any who escape the sword of Jehu. Yet I reserve 7,000 in Israel, all whose knees have not bowed down to Baal and whose mouths have not kissed him. So Elijah went from there and found Elisha, son of Shaphat. He was plowing with 12 yoke of oxen, and he himself was driving the 12th pair. Elijah went up to him and threw his cloak around him. Elisha then left his oxen and ran after Elijah. Let me kiss my father and my mother goodbye, he said, and then I will come to you. Go back, Elijah replied. What have I done to you? So Elisha went back, left him, and he took his yoke of oxen and slaughtered them, and he burned the plowing equipment to cook the meat, and he gave it to the people, and they all ate. Then he set out to follow Elijah and become his servant. Thanks be to God. Amen.